Hello and welcome to my tutorial series on how to model game assets in Blender. This is part 4 and today we're going to model a letter set. This is the finished model. It consists of three items, the letter, the feather and the ink flask. We will start with the feather. So add a plane to your scene. By pressing Shift A, go to Mesh, then Plane. And then we can go to Shading. Create a new material by pressing plus New. And then we can add an image texture. Open the feather texture. I will provide the image in the description. And because we want a realistic looking feather, we need some more image texture nodes. So you can just duplicate these by pressing Shift and D. Now open the roughness map, set it to non-color and connect it to the roughness of your shader. This is in fact a glossy map, so we have to invert it. Some programs work with glossy and some with roughness. Next, open the height map, also set it to non-color, and add a bump node and connect it to the normal of your shader. Now add a normal map node by pressing Shift A, go to vector, then normal map, and connect it to the normal of your bump. height map goes into the height input and here we can open the normal map and connect it to the color input of your normal map node. This looks like fine for a material, but we don't need this black area of our model. So we have to add a mix shader and connect the BSDF shader to the second input of this mix shader. Duplicate this image texture node by pressing Shift and D and open the alpha mask. Now connect it to the factor of your mix shader. and add a transparent node to your scene and connect it to the first input of your mix shader. If you want to render an image, you can use the Cycles render engine. But if you want to create a game asset and want to use Eevee, we have to do some work on the settings. So in the Material Properties tab, under Settings, Set Blend Mode and Shadow Mode to Alpha Blend and Alpha Clip. Also in the Render Properties, check Screen Space Reflections. And under this, check the Refraction as well, because later we want to add a Glass Shader. And this will display this properly. As you can see, the only thing that will be rendered is the feather now. And of course, this feather is quite flat, 
So we will give it some depth by modeling the quill. So add a cylinder to your scene by pressing Shift A, go to Mesh, then Cylinder. Rotate it in the Y axis by pressing R for Rotate, then Y, 90, and Enter. And start scaling it and move it into place by pressing G for Move, R for Rotate, and S for Scale. Once your cylinder is in place, we can start modeling. For this, go into edit mode by pressing the tab key. And now select this cap face here. And start extruding this face out by pressing the E key. Repeat extruding, rotating and moving this face. to match the shape of the quill. Just use E to extrude, G to move, R to rotate and S to scale and follow this curve. Once you are done, by right-clicking on the object, you can choose Shade Smooth and the feather is finished. Next, we will model the ink flask. So we have to add another object to your scene. Pressing Shift A, go to Mesh, then add a cube. Press Tab to get into Edit Mode. Set your transformation pivot point to Medium. Add two loop cuts by pressing Command and R, then scroll your scroll wheel for the number of cuts, and start scaling them in the right axi. Now select this top face here and subdivide it by pressing right click and subdivide. Under edit in preferences and add-on you can search for loop tools and I highly recommend you using this because it makes a lot of things very easy. With this selection press the I key to inset it and move your mouse to set the scale. Then press E to extrude and pull it out a bit. Press E to extrude again. Then select this face loop here by pressing Alt and left click. Extrude it again by pressing E and scale it in X and Y by pressing S for scale, then Shift Z. You can add a subdivision surface modifier. And to define the form a bit more, you can add some loop cuts by pressing Command and R and slide them into place. Just repeat this until you're happy with the form. Now select these faces here by pressing shift and left click. 
and move them up a bit by pressing G and Z. Now we want to select these faces in the middle and press E to extrude and pull them down a bit. In a side view, you can enable the X-ray vision by pressing Alt and Z and start extruding these faces down. Press E again and scale them up by pressing S. Repeat this until you have modeled the inside of the ink flask. Keep in mind that if you enter a loop cut and pull it close to an edge, this edge will be very sharp. Now we want some ink inside that, so you can select this edge loop here and press F to fill. This creates a new face and you can now select all these interfaces here by pressing shift and left click and start going to shading. Create a new material for the flask by pressing plus new. And because this will be glass, in your BSDF shader set your transmission to 1. Now go to edit mode by pressing tab and on the right side press plus to create a new material for this object. Press plus new and choose a color for your ink. Now click assign and as you can see these interfaces have now a different material. On your glass shader in the material properties Check screen space refraction. You can choose to show the back face as or not. It depends on how you want this to look. Now back in object mode, by pressing S you can scale the flask and position it under your kill. Right, this is the second item done. And now we're going to model the letter. For this add a plane by pressing shift A, go to mesh and plane and scale it up in the Y axis by pressing S then Y. Now in shading add an image texture node and connect it to the base color of your BSDF shader. Open the handwriting texture. I will provide this in the description too. And to make this a bit more interesting, we will duplicate this image texture node by pressing Shift A, Shift D, and connect it to the roughness. Now add a color ramp in between to control it a bit more. I want the paper to be a bit 
less shiny than the ink. And you can do this by tweaking these handles here. Now add two more image texture nodes. Just duplicate one of these. By pressing Shift D. Add a bump node to your material. And add a normal map node too. Open the height map of a paper material. I will provide this too. Set it to non color and connect it to the height input of your bump node. Here you can open the normal map, set it to non color, and connect it to the color input of your normal map. Now you can play with the strength bit until you're happy with the material. Right. Now go into the edit mode by pressing the tab key. Select the face, right click it and subdivide it a few times. Now you can select some of these edges and vertices. Enable your proportional editing tool by pressing the O key and start moving them around a bit. By pressing G, you can set the radius of your proportional editing tool by scrolling the scroll wheel of your mouse. And this is it for the letter. So if you want to try this tutorial or have tried it, you want to show me your work, you can do so by adding me on Twitter or Instagram. And if you want to, you can give your permission to me to show your work on one of my future videos. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification button to keep yourself updated on new videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching and have fun creating!